the me today's message is enemies of the nation. Enemies of the nation. You're going to have to love truth. If you're watching online or sitting in the pews, you're going to have to love truth. The Bible says bad truth and sell it not. Don't, don't go with the crowd, as we were learning last week about the tortoise in the, in the hair. I mean, the tortoise in, yeah, the hair. The, the story, the more of the story, because the tortoise is thinking, I'm fast, I'm going to win this race. And the tortoise is like, I'm sticking on the narrow road of God. I don't care about no new wind of doctrines y'all coming with. The tortoise in the end with his, do, 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 do. I worship you, God. Do, 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 do. We ain't keeping up with the Joneses. Do, 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 do. He overcame in the end. What the, what the her was thinking, I got this strength. I got some knowledge. Yeah. He lost in the end. The Bible says the race is not given to the swift or to the yeah. strong, but those who what? Yeah. Endure. Endure in the what? Yeah. Truth. Yeah. Endure it in the truth to the end because now we are in the end. And guess, look at all these people that done fell away from the truth yeah. of the word of God. And they think because they got numbers that, they, that they're right. No, not with God. So, enemies of a nation. I think back, I think back to the movie, Birth of a Nation. This silent movie produced by D.W. Griffin, a man. And I don't, so, this man was born in LaGrange, Kentucky. Excuse me, he has roots right up the street, what, 20 minutes away from us. LaGrange, Kentucky. He was born in LaGrange, Kentucky in 1875. In this propaganda movie, he, Griffin, wanted to keep white people looking good and moral. He wanted to keep them looking like good and moral Christians. He wanted the white woman as the standard of being all that in blacks now that they done got free. This is the issue that the people have now that they done got free. Yes, I'm going to use Ebonics this morning. Amen. Now that we done got free. This is what he said in the movie. This is what he put in the movie because it was a silent picture. Now that we done got free, he wanted to put in the hearts and minds of this nation that blacks were lazy and good for nothing, and that a free black man, and that a free black man as a citizen, y'all better wake up this morning, a free a black man as a citizen just burned in lust for their white women. That is what the movie was about. Amen. This is what it was about. Did I, did I, oh, did I even mention, I know I didn't, I didn't even get to mention how these white men hated the federal government for making laws. That, look, ain't nothing new under the sun. This is back here in 19, this movie was made in 1915. And the same that happened then is the same that's happening today. These, these, he, because he, he belonged to this club. He put in the movie, they was mad at the federal government. They hated, actually they hated the federal government for making laws to stop their terroristic acts of being what? Y'all, y'all better know some history. <laughs> Coop cut clans. The federal government once came against the terrorist groups in America, which was the Ku Klux Klan. And they were mad then, just like they're mad now. Yeah. So they were mad. He's mad because he's a Klansman. The federal government came against, uh, uh, um, started making laws to stop their terroristic acts of being Ku Klux Klan, uh, the KKK. The original name of the film, The Birth of a Nation, the original name, who knows the original name of the movie? Remember, you come to church, you coming to what? Learn. Learn. You come to school, baby. 
the original name before they changed it to Birth of a Nation, the original name of the movie was called The Klansman. And after this movie came out, they had sympathizers. Matter of fact, the president of the United States of America played this movie in the White House. And once this movie came out, the numbers begin of, of becoming Ku Klux Klan's men and women and children grew. And the suppression of people groups, laws changing, Begin to ain't nothing, ain't nothing uh, new under the sun. They did it then, and they doing it again. Yeah. And we see today that the, this same group of people, this same, uh, I say club <laughs> numbers has uh, are on the rise now because they say, oh, so it's it's popular again to hate. Oh, we. We can feel moral in hate, because remember this movie made them feel moral and like Christians to do what they was doing to people, to black people and other people groups, but especially to black people. And they felt moral, felt obligated, like this is my Christian duty. This is where your, your, you better know these names, your Christian nationalism comes in at. It ain't nothing but a cleaned up word for white supremacy. Y'all better know what's going on. And now they walking around saying we're Christian nationalists. And what are Christian nationalists? They're white supremacists. Not only are they white supremacists, they're terrorists. And they talking about God, guns, and country. As if God is with them. Oh, I'm going to say some stuff because I'm waking you up, whether you're in the pews and you're watching online. Y'all better love, be lovers of the truth. Because, oh, I got some stuff to say. Jesus. Whew, okay. So anyways, so I want to uh, speak. Oh, let me get my, my, my scriptures here because I got some scriptures, and you can always add on more because this ain't going to stop. Ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to stop. So... Let me go on and get into scripture. Okay, so let's go to 1 Samuel 5. When you get there, say amen. 1 Samuel 5. Remember, those who have an ear to hear, let them hear what the spirit of the, what truth, the spirit of God is saying. Amen. Just because people getting up here in the pulpit, they ain't talking about nothing. You see, they can't, they, churchy people can't receive with this kind of teaching. They was like, well, that's just too real for me. Well, oh, oh, she shouldn't be talking about that. Well, where you gonna hear it from? Cause you sure ain't hearing it from no news station. You ain't hearing it on no social medias at all. You supposed to hear truth at church. But so anyway, so we around all these church people. So as he getting there, I said, here he go. And he was like, come on, your season, and come on, you know who, and that name, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, let me go and check my emails. And it wasn't even a sermon, but, you, you, yeah, but I was like, when you're dealing with church folk, they got to hear this to receive. You know, that's the difference between dealing with people who, who understand, who, who knows the meat of the word versus the immaturity of what they done learned in religion. Two, two different things. Two different things. Now I'm back to the word. So we're at Exodus, I mean, 1 Samuel 5 in 1. When you get there, say amen. 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 First, oh, I'm in Exodus. Hold on. Let me get, let me get to 1 Samuel. So 1 Samuel 5 and 1. And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Eben Ezer to Ashdod. When the Philistines took the, ark, took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon. Dagon is the idol god. Remember, listen to these words. It just is important to, for you to understand that there are idol gods and people still worship these idol gods. An idol god is anything you put before the most high god. Yo, and most of these people now don't even realize they rappers, they singers is their idol gods. They're influencers. 
these social media for media, media influencers. They your idol gods because you listen to them before you will listen to the most high God, the word, what the word says. So anyways, so Dagon, this, this idol god's name just happened to be Dagon, but he was being worshipped. He was a statue, but he was being worshipped. So they took the, the ark of God into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. They gonna set the, the something holy by something false and perverted. Two, those two can't mingle, can't mix. Let me read on. <clears throat> And when they of Ashdod arose early in the morning, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the earth. They God, they done brought something holy and anointed into they de corrupt, defiled temple. And, and, and the most high God's power was greater than the God of Dagon. Cause Dagon, he, he fell. They got dead. <laughs> he was never living in the first place. But they took the ark of the most high God into their temple. And when they rose up early in the morning, their God was falling on its face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. They, they idol God still had to bow down to the most high God. And they took Dagon and set it up in his place again. Because this is what they knew. They served their idol God. They took their idol God and gonna put it back on the level of the most high God. No, sir. And when they arose early on the morning, to my, the morrow morning, behold, what? Dagon was falling on his face to the ground. Dagon done fell again. Now, a second time, I would have been like, hold up here. Dagon ain't never fell until we brought this ark. Maybe, this, maybe they God is real. But even though people see they God ain't real, they going to continue to serve what they want to serve. And they didn't, just because they seen they idol God fall, they, they, rep it, they prop they God back up. So they woke up the next day and their God, Dagon, was falling on his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Now they got, they either God done lost its head and his hands. God's speaking. God is speaking. All this ain't happening for nothing. God is speaking. He was like, I'm, I'm, I'm destroying y'all when y'all ain't a God. Matter of fact, off with his, since, mm, geez, let me wait. <laughs> and I ain't even got a whole lot of look, y'all. I ain't even got a lot. I just got a couple of things written down, but I knew what was in my spirit. <laughs> so anyway, so, so his head and his hands uh, come off upon the threshold. Only the stomp of Dacon was lamp. Ooh, even the word stump. Just replace that S, what you get. <laughs> I'm ready! Ready this morning. Since they sleep, since they, they are known to be, we nine woke, okay? I got the ark of the Lord this morning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So the stump of I was about to say the stump of Trump. <laughs> the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore, neither the priest nor therefore neither the priest of Dagon nor any that came into Dagon's house tread upon the threshold hold of Dagon in Ashdod to this day. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with emrods. Emrods is, I wrote this down, it's, 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 it means hemorrhoids, but some translation has boils, or tumors. Now, let me finish reading this because then we're going to look back. Look, you can't overlook the, the word back then because we're going to see some of these things happening today. 
Well, thank you. Well, praise the Lord. You got my, you, you want to come up here? <laughs> but that's how well you're being taught here because you're already putting together. Uh-huh. I know what that is. And they said it's on the rise down there in the ATL. I know why. I know why. So let me finish reading here. What verse did I stop at? A six. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with emrods. Remember, some translation has hemorrhoids, and some translations have tumors or boils. 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 Even Ashdod in the coast thereof. And when the men, did it say women? No. What did it say? When the what? Men. When the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said the ark of God of Israel should not abide with us. For his hand is so upon us and upon Dagon our God. They sent thereof of and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them and said, What shall we do with the ark of the, the God of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of God of Israel be carried about unto Gath. And they carried the ark of God of Israel about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city. God is still against them. Yeah. God is still against these enemies. Against the city in a very great destruction. And he smote the what? The and he smote the men of the city, both small and great. And they had emrods. Are what? Boils. Boils are tumors are hemorrhoids. Because they was like, it, translation can be tr translated to him. Uh, to emit hemorrhoids, but they say some translation it could be translated to boils, boils, or tumors. In the what? Secret parts. Secret parts. <laughs> and where are these monkey pops <laughs> popping up at? <laughs> secret parts. And where is it popping? And, and uh, because a homosexual man is popping up on his secret part up. <laughs> on the end. Actually, in the, the secret parts. The Papa says what it needs to say so you can understand what it's saying. But if you can't understand it, well, I can get the kids out here and break it down for you even more. <laughs> and these emrods came up on them in their secret parts. Judgment is happening in the land. Monkeypox ain't something new. It ain't something strange. The Bible talks about things are going to happen. I was somewhere, and I'm going to say this, I was somewhere last Sunday, and I was around a lot of older black Christians. And, uh, and we was just talking, and, and, and they're waking up. Praise God, they are waking up. And so they was like, I was, one of them said, I didn't, they was like, to see, because we all got the Holy Ghost. The infilling of the Holy Ghost, been saved, saved for many years. But this one person said, they was like, I didn't. They said, when I started to see the white evangelical church say what they said, she, I, I was shocked. She was like, I was like, wait a minute, we've been in their churches. We've been sitting around. And she said, Missy, you was with me. I said, I know I was. Yeah. She said, to see how they see us and what they feel about us. Yeah. She said, I couldn't believe it. She said, I couldn't believe to see. She said, everybody we was listening to, every last one of them. I said, right. And of course, you know, I'm a comedian. I try. I, I like funny. <laughs> I said, Paula White, and I got up because I got to play this part out. I said, Paula White, well, her skin marinky dinky dink, skin marinky do. Angels of Africa, angels of South America. <laughs> see, she up here doing witchcraft. And they said that's exactly what it was. Yeah. And they was like, I was shocked seeing that. Yeah. And then the local pastor heard, they was like, Pastor, I ain't going to have his name, Pastor Bob. Yeah. She said, when I saw him say that, I said, he's in the pulpit cursing. Yeah, yeah. He's speaking curses on everybody that did not vote for Trump. I curse you in your health. I curse you in your finances. She was like, I, 
She said, I said, but now y'all waking up. They're waking up to, and she said everything Pastor Steve preached about was true. She said, I, she said, I'm like, she was like, oh my God. She said, are we seeing this? I said, yeah, are you seeing this? And they're saying, they're Christians. Right now, and I'm going to jump off and say, well, it ain't, it's actually part of the message. Should I say this now? And I'll wait. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait. So anyways, now back to the words. So let me read uh, uh, verse 10. Therefore, they sent the ark of God to Ekron, Ekron, and that it came to pass as the ark of God came to Ekron, that the Amorites, the Ekronites cried out saying, they have brought upon the ark of God of Israel to us to slay us and our people. Because the word started going out what this ark was and who God's people was. And they was like, oh, we don't want that. <laughs> For there is a deadly destruction throughout all the city. The hand of God was he very heavy there. And the men that died were not smitten with the emrod, that were not smitten with the emrods, and the men that died not were smitten with the emrods, and they cried of the city, and the cry of the city went up to heaven. So wherever this ark of God, God's real presence, real anointing was, and people wasn't living right, they were judged. Yeah. So anyway, I said all this to say because I'm talking about this idol God. Yeah. This idol God, the idol gods in the lives of people, yeah. that they won't. People ain't just so... The, I, I, I'm not going to say that most people right now who are uh, in deception are deceived because these people were Christians. They knew better. Some of them had the Holy Ghost on the inside of them, but they chose. They chose a God. They chose a God. Let me show you this picture. Can we get our, I, I want to show you this right now. Back there, can, are we ready, set up to, Okay. Let me, let me let it pull up here. You can put it up. Huh? It's not coming in? Okay. Are we having issues again? Okay. Because I want to get my picture up because... <laughs> This is a modern day idol also. I mean, if I got to put it up to the camera, I'm willing to do that. Because you need to understand what's going on. You need to understand, don't look, forget a TikTok, forget a Facebook, forget a, the, keep all that in its place. But don't, don't move off the word of God. For, no, for nobody, and I mean nobody, I don't care if your husband or your wife, your mama, your auntie, your best friend, and they coming with another doctrine. Be like, oh, you got to say, I don't want her that. Start learning to say, I don't want her that. Offend them. Don't offend your God. You can show my picture. This is an idol. This is a man-made idol. And they talk about make America great again. Well, this idol was made in the, the country of Mexico. Oh, wow. <laughs> made in Mexico. And then after they built it, they're going to bring it to America to paint it so they can say made in America. Right now, there's a company, but now go look, look at this idol. Go look at him. They gonna make this idol, and people, so-called Christians, just taking pictures with it. No, it's big. It's real big. It's real big. And then the man who made it, and actually, it was in the designer of it got mad, and he said, "He's a Mexican. He said I ain't getting no props off of." Uh, uh, it was a man who paid for it. He's American. But it was made in Mexico, and a Mexican designer built it. Um, but anyways, okay, I want you to see that. That's an idol. That's an idol. 
And they brought it, they brought it out last year and taking pictures with it and sporting it because they got they got tired of people mocking, uh, uh, putting up that little uh, little uh, balloon balloon blimp Trump baby Trump. <laughs> so that was their way to fight back. We gonna make a gold idol. Wow. Gold idol. Who else made a gold idol? In the Bible, Jesus. And when they made this. People went immediately and said, y'all supposed to be Christians, but y'all doing making a golden idol. Do y'all not know the, the, the history of y'all supposedly book? Yes. Yes. So now let me get on to what I'm saying here. Now let me read this scripture. Go to Exodus 20. When you get there, say amen. Exodus 20. Exodus 20. And we're going to read verses 3 to 5. Now, let's read this together. Ready? One, two, three. Come on. Well, we're going to, we're going to read one verse at a time. <laughs> Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Who's speaking? God. Thou shall not, thou means you. Thou shall not have no other God before me. Verse 4, read. Thou shall not make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. See, this is supposed to be for so-called Christians, our people that's following the Most High God. We already understand that he was against the heathen nations and their idols, because the, the idol God, Dagon, them fail. Let's read number five. What? Let me read this. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God. For all you cast me like, God is just love. Now he's a jealous God. He said, I share my glory with no man. I know I don't know thing. Visiting the iniquity. Iniquity and sin, visiting the sins of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that what? Hate that hate me. And these people are showing that they hate God by their non-woke lifestyle. I'm trying to find the correct word that I want to use. By bragging about being non-woke. No Christian is supposed to brag about being non-woke. That, that says something of you if you're saying, I'm a Christian, I'm non-woke. No, you a fool. you're just saying, I'm a foolish version. And we understand that the foolish versions got left behind. Even when they knew the bridegroom was coming. And when the bridegroom, when they would say, here we go. Bridegroom was like, get off my door. I don't know y'all. Yeah. And how many, Jesus is going to say it to a lot of these so-called non-woke cats. So now, we've seen the little idol that they made. I mean, they, and we see how they have made this man. This man their idol God. They've made him an idol God. I don't care what y'all say. They've made him. A, if you watch no line, if you send a few, now they didn't send some messy. I don't care about you being a GOP or a uh, Democrat. I really don't care. I'm speaking truth here. Because on paper, I'm still a registered Republican. But in real life, I ain't vote for him. I ain't, he ain't getting a, a nerve vote. And Biden better go sit his butt down because he ain't getting another vote for me. 
He talked about he gonna run again. How? Why? <laughs> you like, you can go on the walk. Like, go sit down. You and Trump. Tired of y'all. <laughs> Tired of y'all. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus. Like, like, Lord, y'all go do something else. Go and re- to enjoy y'all retirement years. Go get y'all boats. Go sell somewhere. Because y'all, <laughs> y'all just to stop. Both of y'all. So anyways, back to what I'm saying. I ain't getting off point. They made this man an idol. This man, and I, I don't need a message on the quotes he done spoke. His mouth. He said, I can, I can go down Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I still have people support me. Woo! No pastor condemned him. Matter of fact, they got on bandwagon. He, he, we know what he said, his famous speech. When I see a beautiful woman, I just walk up right up to her, kiss her, and grab her by the whoa, whoa, whoa. No Christian evangelical pastor spoke out against it. None of them didn't say not a word. And this man, he was like, look, he, he's, showing the, he's showing the world. I'll do whatever I want. And I still have these cats loyal to me, serving me. They have made him their God king. This ain't nothing new. Now, let me get into my message. So, we had uh, Monday. FBI, who's been the FBI doing their thing, doing their job. Well, they, they ain't nobody had an uh, uh, issue when they served bench warrants for Breonna Taylor's house. Wasn't right. here no uproar. There was black back the, the thin blue. Black the thin blue. But now they got to be held accountable for their actions. FBI doing their thing, serving the search warrants. They ain't get online and broadcast. As a matter of fact, Trump got up there and broadcast. And that's how the world knew. Yeah. And when he told everybody, I was like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> and so immediately, these cats, his, his, his minions immediately got mad. We going to resort to what? Violence. Violence. Terroristic threats. Terrorism. And the next day, a man went to the FBI office up in Ohio, made his post, got on Trump's social media, truth media, which is an oxymoron because they don't speak truth. Out, out truth. Alternative facts, which is nothing but a lie. Got on there, had his post on there. At January 6th, and white supremacist. This brother, he was like, uh uh-uh, uh, I'll die. Th- th- that rap, that rap, that, uh, that, that rap song, I'll die for my nigga. Oh. <laughs> if that was a person, this what this boy went and did. Took his, uh, took his nailer and his AR. Put, put his little mark on social media. It's what I'm about to do. We got to stand against them. Remember, that's what they said in Birth of a Nation. We got to stand against the federal government now that they're trying to stop us from being terrorists. Went to the FBI. And he thought he was going to get in. You do know you at the FBI office, right? right? You do know that, right? right? I'm shocked they didn't shoot first. I'm like, if there was anybody else, y'all would have shot first, asked questions later. He got away for a couple of hours. Of course he did. Because he can blend in. And still, he still determined that he won't kill somebody. He still won't kill them. Sitting senators and legislators start making posts. Like, how can this be legal? But when they do it, they talk about it's our freedom of speech. Now, now you see Alex Jones' butt, right? Now he got paid at what, $4.6 million? Yeah. And he talked about Sandy Hook was real now. Nah, <laughs> nah, you just come on up off with that money. Yeah. But now they got all his emails. 
See, the ditch that they were digging for others are falling in there. God is against them. All of them. God is against them. The ditch that they're digging for others, they are falling in their ditches. Their own traps and snares that, that they are setting up for others, they are falling in them. Now, the, now they got hold to his, all his two years worth of uh, uh, text messages. They're his lawyers. <laughs> I said, ooh, look at God. Look at God judging them for what they trying to judge others on. Look at God. Trump doing all this talking. You're a bad man. But he was showing up quiet the other day. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I plead on grounds he may incriminate me. But he plead, he, he was show, but he gonna get online Monday. They raid my house. The FBI was such shame. As if they didn't come out with criminal boxes. Lord Jesus, I'm like, man, y'all better talk about this. And now, and, and then they were shut. And I was like, ooh, I said, you, Fox News ain't even on my channel no more. Uh, I, I think they done took themselves off the, I, I don't know. But they, you know, they used to be on my, my little uh, cable channels online. I, was like, I said, dang, I can't get no live action news or Fox News or what they saying. And immediately they came out with their alt truth, yeah. alternative truth. Well, he declassified. Oh, I'm gonna get on and say, save some stuff, Missy. I got all my little sticky notes. So, anyways, so we, I showed you the he's their God. He is their king, uh, God king, okay? That, no lie, he's their God king. They worship him. Those who was once, I can say, Christians, they wasn't solid in the faith because they've been lying about biblical doctrine all this time. And because now that we know who we are and the truth has come out and we're not backing down on who we are and who Jesus is and, wh and what the Bible says, they can't handle that. So they're making laws now to cover. Matter of fact, don't wait. They, a white male teacher down in Florida, he just resigned. He put getting his classroom ready, putting up. He said, I'm going to be teaching black kids. So he's putting up pictures. He was like, I'm trying to trying to show my students that they can, you, you can succeed just like these other people that look just like you. Put the pictures up. They came in this man's classroom, took pictures of Martin Luther King Jr. down. Took pictures of uh, uh, other people down. Told him that a child's mind can't handle that. What? what? Child's mind can't handle that because they don't want to feel no shame when it comes to seeing a black successful person. And this man, I'm like, wait a minute, I've been an educator for over 30 years. He put him in, in his resignation notice and told the news, and they mad. They mad. Well, he ain't had to go to the news. Why not? Why not? Because they non woke. They hate truth. You're correct. They, it's all coming out. And this is a white male teacher. They was like, he, he, it's like and the person's like, just teach. That's what the man's trying to do. Right, right. Nah, don't teach about nothing black because that's just racism. Oh, so we supposed to keep learning about everybody white in history? No, 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 no. The life is not like that. So anyways, so espionage. Let me t tell you the def uh, definition of espionage. And I, it's mighty funny. I ain't sleeping now. <laughs> I am up. <laughs> espionage <laughs> the practice of spying or using spies to obtain information about the plans and activities especially of a foreign government or a competing company now we just found out that we had two uh, uh, Russian spies living in America for over 30 years and why was they able to fit in I wonder why I wonder why the police never stopped them. I wonder why their neighbors never said, oh, they just look so suspicious. Because they were still the same skin tone. Yeah. And they was welcomed in the neighborhood. Like if you were Terrell Owens. Y'all see that video? Even though the woman knew who this man was, know he got money, they talking, they having conversations about him. And he was like, he said, I, and, that's, and, and what he was saying on the video, that happened to me when it finally happened, when I came in encounter with a Karen at the post office and going to see my husband in the, in the, uh, uh, over her in K Hill. And the woman, she going, 
Stop speeding. I'm already dealing with, I'm trying to make it out because I'm hurting. I'm, you know, and I was, and it was Memorial Day and I'm trying to, and Steve was behind me in his car and I was, Hannah was with me and we went to see him and I'm trying not to cry in front of them. And I was like, Ooh, we almost out of here. I'm keeping it together because when they see me hurt, they hurt. And so I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm keeping it together until I drop Hannah off at work. Cause I knew I was going to break down when I got them away. And so, and I'm, I'm holding it in. And I, I walked past, her husband walked on across the street, got in the car, and when I went past, she go, stop speeding, skirt. So who you talking to? <laughs> and she, and, and when I confronted her, she's like, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe her husband got out the car with his hands in his pocket. I'm thinking he's about to come and talk sense to his wife. He gonna say, well, what she really meant to say is, you put, you make us feel, you make us feel, uh, what the police say? Oh, he said, you make us feel like fear of our life while you driving. I said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> call me what you will, but y'all getting it today. <laughs> oh, I said, no, nah. and, and I, I, no, I spoke too much truth. And they, and, and she's like, <laughs> I said, no, nah, you gonna hear this truth. And the man that worked, as much as I, met, I was in there, the man came out and sided with them. I said, I can't believe, I said, is this really happening to me? I said, ah, oh, you a worker. I'm going to go over your head. Yes. I went to the, to the owner of the whole cemetery, and she's a woman. We, we talked, and she was like, the next time you went here, she said, he, he shouldn't have even took no sides. I said, well, he did. And I said, now I came back over and told him, let's call police now. I said, but the people was gone. Because I said, uh-uh, y'all going to stop doing this. Y'all going to learn how to talk and respect people. So me and her, we had a good old conversation. And she was like, oh, my gosh. She said, you, she said, our lives are the same. She said, I married my husband when we were young. Our lives were basically the same. Except she was white and I was black. She said, she said and I understand exactly what you feel. She's like, because we're, her and her husband are like, yes, you know. And I said, I said, that program that y'all about to do, I said, I was about to make a sizable donation. I said, because of what happened, I would not. Make, I said, because of what he did, I would not be making a donation yeah. in the name of my husband. Because yeah. uh, I'm like, now nah, y'all going to think about this. Yeah. Because you're going to have to learn how to respect yeah. people. Yeah. 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 Respect. So anyways, so Espion, we talked about espion, uh, uh, what espionage was. So we, and so now let me give you the definition of treason. Treason is the offense. The offense of acting to overthrow one's government or to harm or kill its sovereign. The sovereign was trying to, was doing treasonous acts. I ain't gonna never forget January the 6th. That was treason. Yeah. That, that, all that stuff that was, and they try to say Black Lives Matter and that team for now, baby. Mm -mm, that's y'all. And they going to, some of them are going to jail over this stuff now. But anyways, I want to give you those definitions because this is what we're seeing. So now, fast forward back to Monday. This man, FBI went into his office. I mean, into raided his home. They didn't just raid for no reason. Right. They had a total reason. Matter of fact, they was in communication with him, an ex-president that we knew. Everybody was scared. That's why there was some still around him was like, we got we to make sure we still got our country. And they was trying to keep this man on the straight and narrow. And because he's an idiot, a fool, call it what you will, but that is what he is. Amen. He's going down as the worst president in history. History. But his devoted cult following, like he's the best. No, baby. No. Even those around him, they was trying to be for him. Oh, I got some sense. I, I, look, people done made books. <laughs> His own son-in-law made a book about it. Like, come on. So anyways, so, so we have this, this man here. And they made this statue. Now we, gotta, we have the whole body of so-called Christian believers in America. The whole white, I'll say, let, let, let me not say, I'll say 98% of the evangelical white church is for him. And you have a small portion who is not. 
They're like, this is wrong. They're standing against him. There's a lot of Republicans, white Republicans saying, I voted for him. I wish I wouldn't. He, have, he does not represent what we stand for. And they was like, he can't get another one of my votes. But you have this cult following of him. And it's mighty funny. Now this, 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 the so-called Southern Baptist, well, ain't, they ain't so-called, the, the Southern Baptist Convention. Remember these people now, these GOP, they was like, well, there's a cabal of Satan worshipers and pedophiles, and they won't look amongst their own selves. The Southern Baptist organization, and I've talked to you all about this before, they're being investigated. I wonder why! What do you think they're being investigated for? Anybody know? No, it ain't fraud. It's sex crimes. Sex. They passed us. They leadership. And they covered it up. Remember Hill songs? The song, for you, Lord. I mean, got you in the presence. The original creator of Hill songs. They covered up all these years that he was a what? Pedophile. His son, Brian, what's this? Brian Houston that took over, kept covering it up. Wow. Now he, they, 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 he going to court now. The whole, everything that they talked about is a complete lie. They got their pedophiles, the sexual deviants, and they keep trying to look more. They hate filled messages. But they said they looking for the cabal of pedophiles, Satan worshipers, and only the Democratic Party. Like, no, it's, you got them freaks too, but y'all definitely got them. They won't look at themselves because, remember, they're deflectors. So now they got this belief. Remember, the whole 90, 98% of the evangelical church has changed now. Their stance and everything. Some of them are saying we are no longer Christian churches. We are, oh shoot, what's the name? I, I can't think of it right now. They're no longer going by Christian churches. We are, I forgot the, y'all remember when I taught y'all the, it's a name they're going by. But they're no longer saying that they're Christian churches. They are, they're saying that they preach the doctrine of Trump. Um, yeah. They, yeah, I forgot the name that they go by now. So anyways, so now we see they have an idol God. As I'm, I'll keep trying to get you back there. To, so I'm showing you what's happening. They've set this man up as their God king, that he can do no wrong. He can do no wrong. And, and God is making this man humble, fall. And remember he said, I don't have, he said, I don't ask God. I don't say sorry to God because I ain't never did nothing wrong to be sorry for. That's what he said. And there's no pastors that stood against him yet for saying such a thing. And this shows you they're not serving the most high God. He is their God. So their God is fallen. But yet remember, when Dagon fell, what did the worshipers of Dagon do? Propped him back up. Their God is fallen in their face. And they was like, no, 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 we ain't going to be wrong. We're going to be right. They propping their God back up. Even in the face of y'all wrong, he wrong. They, nope, we ain't going to be wrong. We're going to be, matter of fact, we're going to go into terroristic threatening and terrorism to make our God right. This is what you, the, the worshiper of this man did by going to the FBI office yesterday and I want to see what's gonna happen yesterday a group of armed individuals they did it on the Saturday went to a FBI office in oh I think it was Phoenix and y'all know I like to be thorough but I was just reading some stuff and I was like I gotta remember that but they went to an FBI office yesterday with their guns Notice they talking about no mask. Jesus is against masks. But they show sure has something on their face, covering up their face. Why your, why your face masked up? But they want to use masks when it's... Notice this. They want to use what they... They want to be right when they want to be right. But hold them accountable? Uh-uh. No. 
So I want to see what they're going to do tomorrow, Monday morning. Y'all going to go back armed? I want to see this standoff. And they're saying we're preparing just like this movie D.W. Uh, Griffin made because they was trying to get their numbers back up then to, go, to take because they were mad that the federal government, how Abraham Lincoln, and, and even in that movie, they rewrote, rewrote history like they're doing now. They had Abraham Lincoln going to write a proclamation of declaration to free these slaves. We want our slaves back because, remember, they were lazy. They were making money off of us. We built this nation. Amen. So anyways, so back then, they was like, we're going to get our numbers up and we're going to overthrow the federal government to have our rule again. And it didn't happen. So this is in the hearts. This is what they talk about. They still, this is why they have they conf they have their Confederate days down there. They got their Confederate parks and they won't, they won't, they, they, they glory back. How you gonna be Christians? That's glorious to them. They want their glory back of slavery, of rule, ruling without penalization. This is why police departments are uh, lacking police officers right now. Because now the police are being held accountable? Are uh, what? Well, we gonna be held, we can't just beat people no more? We being held accountable? Well, I, I don't wanna be a police officer. But this is what, and this is why, and I actually was talking to a police officer, a black police officer the other day, and he was like, Missy, look. He said, until more good people get on this force, and especially good black people, he said, he said, but things are changing. He said, ain't the days of old no more. He said, but we need good black people to start getting on the police force. He said, but now there's a stigma because people think all police are bad, He's, but not all black, uh, police officers are bad, whether they white or black. You still have some good ones, but you got a whole lot of bad ones. And so he was just saying, we need more good people getting on the force that's wanting to do right, you know. So anyways, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting here. Oh, hold on, y'all. So anyways, so we see all of this stuff happening. So these people are still trying to protect their idol god, their day god. He's, their, he's the day god of today's day. Yeah. And no matter what he does, he got online and said, they raided my house. It's such an awful thing. There was, they, they, they didn't show us any documentation, knowing ain't nothing gonna, legal going to be done without documentation. Without your, and and so, so Merrick Garland had to get up, hold a news conference, and call his bluff and say, no. We ain't just going there just unannounced. Matter of fact, we gave you, we was having conversations with you to return classified. Let me, let me show this. Let me, hold on, let me read this. This is what his people around him said, John Kelly. They was like, ooh, we're going to get John Kelly. He's going to help us out to really deal with Trump because John Kelly was a general. And you thinking the general is going to get him in order? No, not this. They gone, God. So John Kelly said, out of John Kelly's mouth, Trump didn't believe in the White House classification system. He, Trump, felt that people who were in the intel business are incompetent. How can you say such a thing? Because remember, whatever he does, he's a narcissist, and he only has narcissists. Whenever you, have y'all ever dealt with a narcissist? Narcissists only keep people who's going to feed into their narcissism around them. It's called narcissistic supply. And when you do not give them the accolades, they will replace you and find another person that will give them this accolades. You are such a good person. You are just so, ooh. And that's all the foreign leaders of other nations were doing, giving Trump narcissistic supplies. Think how, uh, now you wonder what information do they have on us? The people, they said that he is the first puppeted president that America has ever had. What does Russia really know? They already wrote an article calling him Putin's poodle. <laughs> so let me finish reading what Trump said. He said, Trump said, these people who are, oh, uh -oh hold on. 
Trump said he felt like people in Intel were, oh, they were incompetent. Lord, my little sticky notes. So uh, that's not how it, uh, so he said everyone ends up, and Trump said, he said, Pfft. now he's going to brush it off. When, when, when Merrick Garland got up and said, no, we didn't put it out, he put it out, and because we want to be truthful and, and thorough with what's going on, because immediately his cult followers start threatening the last. Why do y'all go to, because they're terrorists, they're horned. Start threatening the last of the thin blue. I thought y'all was in support of back the blue, back the blue. So they start threatening the lives of FBI agents, anybody who was stand against truth. And Merrick Allen said, well, well, let me go and get up and let them know. And so he was like, no, I signed off on it. It ain't about no bad, and it ain't no bad. And so now, because remember, people like to, uh, shoot, Lord, I'm, I'm thinking faster than I can speak. They like to deflect. Fox News won't talk about, well, what about Hillary Clinton's emails? And what about uh, uh, Bat, uh, Hunter Bat? What is going on right now? Because they're trying to deflect the truth. When they found it, when after Merrick Garland got up and said, we going we going what's the word everybody using now? Show the receipts. Merrick Garland said, we going to go to the judge, ask him to, to, uh, Oh, Lord, help me, y'all, because I can't think of my word. Unseal the warrant and show the receipts. Because that's the, the word is receipts that I'm trying to use, too, because that's, that's a slang word. You got them receipts? The FBI had them receipts, literally, the receipts of what was taken out of his property. Over 11 boxes of highly classified material. Now they, the receipts for the world, America, the world to see. He goes, oh. everybody take home. I'm going to read his exact words. He was like, everyone ends up having to bring home the work from time to time. No, not highly classified documents. Not highly classified documents. And he goes, because he's such a narcissist and he's such a, 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 uh, uh, feel like he's God King. He said, well, I said if they declassified, they declassified. This is what he said. That ain't how democracy works. We don't operate off of no God King. Just because you're a president, you still have to be held accountable. But he said, well, if I, if I said it's declassified, it's declassified. That's not how it works in a democracy. What we have, uh, what we have left of a democracy, because they are trying to destroy this. What we have left of de a democracy, that they are trying their best to make the united slash divided, because we can no longer say the United States of America. We are the divided states of America. And what does the Bible say about a house divided? A house divided will not stand. And we are divided more than it ain't, and it, it ain't because of no, no bad, uh-uh. This is already beginning here because they want to go back to the rule. And a lot of people are saying, man, we ain't with that no more. And we definitely saying, y'all don't miss them days. We, do that. we ain't going back to the days of old at all. At all. Got us messed up in the name of Jesus. <laughs> okay, so, so now we are in the, the divided states of America. They're trying to make this an authoritarian nation ran by their God King. This is what we're seeing. They're trying to make, and they're trying to set him up as the God King. Look, so-called Christians, so-called... Look, and they're coming together. Remember, the Bible talks about the, the, the Satan's kingdom is regimented. They are on one accord. But look at our people. We can't come on one accord for nothing. 
but they regimented that all walks of their life are come on one accord to make this man their God king. Forget the Bible, they ain't going off no Bible now. They was like, oh, we don't want this. They got their own religion. They said they are now preaching the doctrine of Trump. So this, but this is what we're seeing. So now you got these people just because they got guns, they was like, if they don't do it the way we want it done, we are going to use our guns to be terrorists to law and order. What about law? I thought law and order, law and order. But they was like, not when it comes to us. Just like the birth of a nation. We, they did not want law and order on them. They wanted to be law and order on everybody else. <laughs> Come and show you the, what the truth is. So that I'm telling the truth just the other day. Uh, uh, Lauren Bobbitt, uh, it's not Bobbitt, but uh, what's her last name? But y'all know who I'm talking about? That Congress lady that's like always talking. She, her neighbors called 911. Her sons, I thought they good parents. No, her sons are cussing the neighbors out. Her husband, DUIing, hit the neighbor's mailbox because remember they don't want nobody to correct them. Hit the neighbor's mailbox. The neighbors call 911. And you know when you call 911, you are on a recorded line, correct? In the background, it's got the neighbor saying, Lord Bobby, y'all know who she is. Her husband saying her husband's name and talking about what the kids done did. <laughs> her husband's wanting to fight the neighbors. Hit their mailbox while he drunk driving. They don't want their neighbors to correct their kids. Kids ain't got no manners, cussing these people out. Police show up. By the time police got there, uh, uh, there ain't no telling what them, how much money they're going to offer the neighbors. But now the neighbors ain't pressing charges. And the police said, well, they said they're going to work it out. Well, when does the police be this nice? What, what, what? Oh, so now they can work it out. Y'all make sure y'all keep that same motto when y'all dealing with us. Bobert, Bobert. And the neighbors are on the land, recorded land saying they got all them guns. Because she like taking pictures with her guns. Y'all, you look, y'all better know what's going on. Enemies of a nation. So back to this God King. He had top military secrets. Who? And because he always want money, because he ain't rich like y'all think. He got money. He richer than us. But he's not on the level of rich, rich, other rich men. And he hates that fact. He was actually mad he didn't make it in Forbes, uh, Richest Men magazine, the, uh, the list. So anyways, so who was going to get them secrets? Remember, all you got to do is puff them up. Oh, God, King, your complexion is so good. Really, really good. <laughs> you, you were such an awesome president. You really made America great. That's all he needs. Give him a military parade. What secrets do, does these other nations have? All they know that, like, all we got to do is get a show. Give him a, because he was like, ooh, I just love y'all author, authoritarianism. I want to be like y'all one day, Kim Jong-un. But think about this. He had top secrets. Think about this. In his house. Not, they wasn't under guard. Who saw it? And matter of fact, it was somebody close to him that tipped off the FBI. Think about this. FBI, well, he, was, he was sell out his own nation. Just to have a, you, you gonna throw me a military parade? Ooh, are you gonna make it Trump Day in your country? And I, he will sell it out to the highest bidder. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. If he ain't already did it. Think about this. Think about this. And now these charges are coming, to, coming about. They ain't, they ain't speaking it if it ain't real. 
and now they came out. Now they done show the receipts. And now they making up, well, I declassified everything. No, it ain't how it works. Just because you speak it, there are still laws that have to be passed. There has to be security clearances, the like declassification system. But he don't like systems. He don't want to submit to nothing and nobody because he's God. And he's been backed by the white evangelical church, the white supremacist groups, all kind of groups are supporting him in this. And he has no accountability. He's lived his life without accountability. Just think how he really is. Just think how he really is. Y'all better hear this. What, what has he done to this nation? Think about this. Will, will we ever recover as a nation? No. No. Because now people's minds are so messed up about voting. Why don't they? See, they going back to this birth. Of, I'm going to talk about back to this birth of a nation. They did not want the black people to become citizens. Because when you are a citizen, you can vote. And what are they trying to do? Take away the voting rights. Now they got an issue with everything when it comes to voting. And the people still spoke out against them when it came to this. I ain't for abortion at all. Unless, I mean, I mean you know, those, like you can't have a child having a child. Right. So up in Colorado, they, the, the white Republicans spoke out against them. They weren't standing with them. And so now they was like, ooh, we got to change our stance on what we say. Because they realize, and he is so offensive that a lot of people are like, I can't rock with him. I just can't. Yeah, I'm a Republican, but he's an idiot. Yeah. They was like, if y'all don't give us somebody better, you ain't getting this vote. Yeah. And a lot of Republicans are saying, I ain't, I'm not a Democrat. And I, they said, but I'm going, they're going to get my vote next because I can't, I can't take him. So this man... It's an enemy of the nation. And because these, these cult worshipers, followers, they refuse truth. And they are refusing truth. They are in agreement with what's going on with this nation. If it came out, he done sold secrets. And he, and it, it, can, he can, it can come out, he'd be like, yeah, kill all them too. And they'll still be like, but well, he's the best president ever. Because he has loyalty to no man. Nobody. He'll do his own kids in. Look how many people he done did in. Look how many people, when they come around him, they go jail. And they still willingly sacrifice their lives. Another man just died last night thinking he going to run up in D.C. Now they are actually engaging, physical engaging with these officers doing their job. Thinking he going to run through the barricades and he did it and he when he did it I guess when he realized they about to kill him he shot himself see they're cowards and whores they want to have a name they want to leave a lame name for themselves so they can say oh look at me look what I done I was really representing now you you don't went to hell what are you representing they rep I'm representing they got they're representing a false idol. They're dying, but he's still living. He ain't going to miss a meal for them. Right. He ain't going to memorialize their name. He don't cry. He was like, who's going to be the next one to do it for me? I need y'all to show me how great, how patriotic y'all are to me. Not to this nation. He's not even patriotic to his own nation. Think about this. He wanted to replace his military generals because they were not loyal to him. They loyal to the Constitution. Right. He, but I come before the Constitution. No, you don't. He wanted to do away with a lot of stuff so that he can have total control. Remember, he's, he loves author, uh, authoritarians. Putin, Kim Jong-un, the Saudis. Y'all better understand this. Yeah. This is in his heart. He wants to be a dick. He craves it. He's like, oh, I just, I just, I just want to make America again in my image. 
Lord, let me see if I read or said, said everything I need to say because I want you to know what's going on. So now that they have, uh, and it, the, it's ongoing, now that the world knows, the, and the world knows, the world knows how weak we are as a nation. And, and, and these cats ain't jumping off the bandwagon. And when, even though they see now, he's, he's guilty. He's guilty. And they're still making defenses of their God. Because now to realize if they truly face what they've done, they're going to be like, I, I walked away from the most high God to serve an idol God. A little orange idol God at that. Like, the, the, because they're going to have to think. And remember, these cats now, they, their, 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 their doctrine that's in them is the QAnon. And these cats, their marriages are being destroyed because they're at, it's really a cult now. They are in a cult. All they are receiving. They, remember, they can't hear nobody else's voice. And if Trump is mad at Fox News, they're going to switch and go over to Owen News. And if he's mad at Owen News, they're going to switch and go to Newsmax. They're only hearing one view. And they're not hearing, like, you, you got to understand what's going on. Matter of fact, step, get off. Of, see, as a real Christian, we fast all that. Yes. Forget a news station. Let me pray and get a witness in my spirit. Amen. But they no longer have the witness of the Holy Ghost. They got the witness of Q. Somebody, they don't even know who it is. And they waiting for a clue, waiting for a clue from Q. Where's your Holy Ghost, evangelical church? No longer do they pray like that. Because they God, our Trump, is their God. And God is showing, I'm, I'm destroying y'all God before y'all. But they will say, uh-uh, we're going to support our God. That's why we got to, guess why we got to change the laws to get in these positions that even if our God runs again and he loses yet again, we'll have enough of our people in these positions to call the shots for us. Remember, because they already lying. So lying doesn't, their conscience is seared. Lying well, don't hurt them. They going to back their God. They not doing what's right no more. They said, we going we to put this God up. He's our God. Not the most high God. Even though we're seeing plagues in the land, uh-uh, they're going to still do what they want to do for their God. And judgment is happening amongst them. They're being judged. Their God is being judged. And they're still saying, nope. Which they're fighting against the most high God. Look at the world fighting against the most high God. And especially them in America fighting against the most. They fighting against, the Bible said, the uh, uh it's going to burn up. And what we see happening, the earth is burning up. They said, uh, they said now some more glaciers are about to make. Y'all better know world news. Yeah. Which is, the levels are going to keep rising. Uh, I forgot where that was, but a house just fell up, uh, down the cliff the other day. Oh, I think it was in another country. Due to the glaciers uh, melting away in the water, and the land is receding. We ain't getting no more land. And no matter how much fake land that they try to make, but we, there's, you know, it's, it's still, water levels are still going up, and we're losing water, period. Water is going down. We are living in the last days, y'all. Y'all better live right. That's all I got to say. Pay attention. Stand to your feet. Know what's going on. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, don't watch the news. No, watch, see what's going on. Look at all these investigations happening on. And it's not that they are innocent. They're guilty. When it, come, when it came out about the Southern Baptist organization, how they constantly covered up sex crimes from the pastors. We knew the, the Pelophilic Catholic Church was already doing this, been doing it. But yet they stay in, they keep them Catholic churches going. I wonder why. But now we see it in the evangelical churches. And then when the people spoke out, they want to shun them. They want to make them seem like they was lying. This is the leadership of the Southern Baptist Convention, the convention organization. These people, the people was telling the truth. 
He's, uh, he's raping me. He's touching me. No, nah, you're just making it up. You're just doing this. You're just doing that. And it came out. Now they're being investigated because it's so, it kept happening. It's happened over 500 or something times. And it keeps happening. Keeps happening. And these cats will marry each other and get back up in the pulpit. I showed you about Rodney Howard Brown. Y'all better know what's going on. And you better know people who call themselves Christians. Don't be taking the people's words for nothing. Yeah. Amen. As Steve plays, we're going to close out. And this message is still ongoing. Because you need to understand what's going on. Don't let them come to you talking about we're Christians, we're patriots, we love the Lord. No, this is just a sh charade, charade, however you want to call it. Listen to what they say. What do you believe? How do you treat people? They ain't shown love yet. When they speak their mouth, they spew out evil, hatred, vow. Murder. They are actually saying we want to murder. And then Mike Pitts is going to have to get the nerve to say something. They was trying to say, kill you on January the 6th. And they said if we would have got to him, we would have killed him. This is the party that say that they love life. But he going to want to speak up the other day because he think he got a shot to become president. No, go on back to mother and go retire. That's what he called his wife, mother. Go on back to mother and retire. Cause you, <laughs> but he actually had to call the final shots on January 6th, the vice president of America, not the president. That was all the president and you going to get Mike Pence. So as uh, eyes closed and hands bowed, Heavenly Father, we thank you for, for being good. We thank you for your grace and mercy. Father, we thank you for speaking your word to your people. Even Lord God in these last days, show us so that we will know what's going on. That we won't be, that we won't be taken, caught up in the crowd and in the number. That we won't pick no other person's side but your side. That we'll continue to stay on the straight and narrow path. Because that path leads to life and righteousness. Be with us this week, Father God. Protect us. Hide us under the shadow of your almighty wings. Lord God, blood of Jesus over our children as they go to school. Blood of Jesus on, over the buses and the bus drivers and over the teachers. Protect our children in the school building, Lord God. Protect us on our jobs when we go to the grocery store. Protect us, Father God. When we come into contact with other people, we plead the blood of Jesus over every interaction. Protecting us from every hurt, harm, and danger. Protect us from mass shootings, Father God. Protect us from demonically influenced individuals, Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. Blood of Jesus over our spouses. Blood of Jesus over our children. Blood of Jesus over our vehicles and our homes. Blood of Jesus over our finances. Oh, Lord God, we know it's in the blood of Jesus. We believe that there's power still in the name of Jesus today. We stand on that word. Your word is all we have, Father God. Oh, Lord God, you said you, that, you, that a remnant will be saved. Let us be counted in that number. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. And everybody says, amen. You can be